Well, if you're ready to make some changes in your diet for the new year, we've got a nutritionist that can help. Joining me now is wellness expert, Dr. Felicia Stola. Felicia, good to see you. Nice to see you. Thank so, you. So when people come to you, right, the number one request, they say, I want to lose weight. Right. What do you tell them? Well, look, I always talk about um, trying to watch what you eat and increasing more physical activity. And for somebody that you know, doesn't need to lose weight or even try to take some of the focus off of weight because so much attention this time of year is on weight. I try to look at, well, what are some other things in your life that you can do that will make you feel good about yourself? Because so often we look at the number on the scale and there are other ways that we can sort of measure like how we're feeling right? and, and so how we look and how we feel and how our body moves. And so we're going to talk about some of those things. Yeah. You have things also that you call beauty builders. What are those? Right. So as far as beauty builders, I have some foods that are loaded with antioxidants, mm -hmm. rich in vitamin C. So I brought some fruits here. So you can see this is dragon yeah, this, fruit. I, this is the coolest thing ever. Right. I, I didn't I, even know this existed. I'm right. being honest. Totally I mean, honest. it's funny because there are these yogurt tubes. I think people mm -hmm. don't know what, what dragon fruit is. But actually, if you want to try this here, it's yeah, pretty mild that's flavor. dragon fruit here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how do we, you You're peel, peel this it? back? Yeah, peel it back. Yep. Yeah, good bite it. And eat the whole thing. It's probably a little mild. Yeah, yes. uh, sweet. So it can be imported. Mm -hmm. They do grow it in the U.S. It wow. is a domestic uh, fruit. It's very, cool. very, very high in vitamin C. Domestic fruit? Domestic fruit, wow. yes. Okay. And so this is something called a horned melon, as you can see here. Um, I scooped it out, and I put some yogurt in it, and then these are the seeds. This is what okay. you eat if you want to try that. Yeah, I want to try I've never tried this either. So interesting enough, this is mm. not only high in vitamin C, but it also has some protein. I'm assuming it's because of the seeds that are in here. Yeah, it's like a gelatinous, melony taste. Right. Really kind of exactly what it is. Pretty good. Right. And, you know, people often know about having kiwi. I remember that was sort of my first right. weird fruit I ever ate as a kid, and pomegranate as well. Right. So something that's also very popular this time of year is, you know, people are looking into thinking about heart health and food mm. choices. So a lot of times people are looking into olive oil. We've heard a lot about coconut oil, and I wanted to talk about... Um, Malaysian palm fruit oil, and the reason I really like it is you see this beautiful color. It's yeah. an orange. It's loaded with beta carotene, and it also has something called tocotrienols in it, which is a very potent form of vitamin E, which can be neurologically protective, especially in the case of a stroke. And it's already in foods that people maybe are already eating, yeah. like Nutella. Like, like my wife's favorite food, Nutella. Uh, and my daughter's well. favorite, right? right? And even the Smart Balance peanut butter has palm fruit oil in it. Um, and, we well, sleep is really important. That's mm -hmm. something that a lot of people don't get enough of, and you can't really make up for it. So some people complain that they have a difficult time going to sleep. And I wanted to talk about something called L-theanine, which can be consumed as a supplement, but it's actually part of green tea. So I have some green tea here to show you. Um, and basically what it does is it helps people to remain focused and calm. It's great for people when they have anxiety, but it's something that people can take when they want to get a good night's sleep. And if you're not sleeping well, you're not going to eat right. You're not going to exercise. So it all ties together. All right, Felicia Stola, the book's called Living Skinny and Fat Jeans. I love that title. Thank it's so you. cool. Thanks for coming in. My pleasure. Really and happy holidays. It. You too. Okay, coming up, how yoga can keep you out of your doctor's office. That's straight ahead.